combatants in the bulls yeah. had its wheels fall off between races five and six, and a crane was called in to remove the barriers. The race was eventually run, one hour late in fact. As Dan Malecki reports, it was run twice. The wheels fell off between races five and six, that is, the barrier stall's wheels. After nearly an hour's delay, the race was run. In fact, it was run twice. The starter called all runners back after the first try. It was a false start. The race was won eventually by former Brisbane gelding, Vic Pella. The remaining races were all started manually. It caused headaches for punters before the race, but as it turned out, well-fancied horses won all four events. The flag start hasn't been used since Far Lap's Day, and ironically and ominously, the horse who won race seven, the George Hanlon trained Tornish, wears Far Lap silks. Tornish was the middle pin of jockey Darren Gauchy's treble. Despite some embarrassment, the club pressed on with their program. The last four races were started manually. Dan Malecki, 10 News. A couple of bad starts there. Well, the success of the Magic Millions on the Gold Coast has spread to another code. The Dish Lickers race for $120,000 tomorrow night in the inaugural Sandown Sapphire Classic. Like the Magic Millions series, only dogs purchased at the sale are eligible to run. Of the 350 greyhounds sold at last May's inaugural Sandown Sapphire Classic sales, 160 made it to the track. And from the qualifying trials two weeks ago, eight greyhounds will run for the $120,000 series final. Innovator of the Classic is Sandown director Paul Hogan. And after the magic millions in Queensland with the horses and uh, Ipswich starting one up, we thought, well, we'd give it a go here. And uh, very, very pleased, and I think it can only get stronger and stronger. As the years go on, I think it'll build up and it could develop into a very big race, this. Ironically, Hogan, who trains greyhounds, has a starter in tomorrow night's final. Outsider Totty's Hot qualified after chasing home the more fancy Joshua in last week's semi-final. But the favourite is silver chief runner-up Supergun, who has breezed through his qualifying heats. Supergun, who was bought for $5,700, has been the most outstanding greyhound of the series. And despite his squeeze box, looks the goods in the classic. Dan Malicki, 10 News. That's Sport David for this Wednesday. OK, Tony, thank you very much. Tony Banks with today's sport. And after the break, we'll to see how...